Hi everyone, this is Jason with eStore Coaching. Today we're here to take a look at LemonStand e-commerce plat platform. So if you've never heard of them before, they are a lightweight and they use a flexible PHP framework that lets you build and customize any part of your online store. So unlike Evolution, Shopify, or BigCommerce, you will never actually you will need to install LemonStand yourself because this is a self-hosted eStore platform. And unlike the other platforms, you have the ability to take full control, system control, that is. So a typical hosting plan such as GoDaddy or Bluehost is not going to meet your requirements needs. So make sure you understand the requirements before you purchase a hosting plan. And what we're looking at here now is the product page of a, of a lemon stand with a basic theme that they have uh, included. So as you see, the, we had the basic top navigation with the product page uh, in the front. Uh, this is a category page with a left uh, navigation. So let's look, take a look at the product page. You have a basic product page as well, with different colors and size options, quantity, description, uh, with the images on your left. So nothing uh, out of the ordinary. And you have your related items at the bottom. You have a beautiful uh, drop down menu. Again, just browsing through the product page. Let's uh, add a couple items to our cart. And here's uh, related items and you could mess around with the different images. Doesn't look like I can hover it over the image and see a bigger image. Take a look at the about page, contact page, and your blog. Okay, so let's take a look at our shopping cart. Looks like you can calculate your uh, shipping rate. So let's uh, try that feature out. It's going to pick uh, New York 11204. Let's calculate this. And you'll see a estimated uh, rate of 1099. Let's check out. And uh, let's see how it looks like on the back end. Let's uh, continue as guest. So here's your billing and shipping information. Looks like it's a three step checkout. Let's go to the next step. Let's do a easy in-store pickup, place the order, Conf confirm your order here. pay with our fake credit card and then we will hit submit. So here's your thank you page, confirmation page. Okay, so here's our back end uh, page. This is a, uh, we're looking at the dashboard now and their navigation is on the upper left. So there's different reports you can take a look at. You can look at the orders, by product, stock, categories. We can uh, set the report date here. Okay, let's click on this order. So here's your order uh, page, your order details, billing information, shipping information. You can take a look at the history. Pay 
it temps transactions notification notes and uh, tracking your tracking number on your last tab and of course you can enter a new message for for the customer here and um, we're looking at the different types of orders here Add a tracking code here, your UPS. And if you have uh, multiple uh, workflows, you can uh, set the status here. If you have different departments, it needs to go through billing, shipping. You could create statuses and uh, update it here. You could uh, decide to add additional products here as well to uh, once a uh, order is placed, for example. Let's take a look at the categories. Over here, you can create different categories um, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Here's a product page. And uh, basically this is where where the rubber meets the road. Uh, you, you manage your website here. Let's take a look at the, the product page here. You can check out the reviews. You can actually include this as a bundle with a belt, pair of slacks and shoes. You could do it as a bundle. And here is the product detail page. You can enter your basic uh, product information here, your pricing. Enter your bulk pricing here. By different customer groups, you can have different tier sizes. Let's try to see if we can do this one. And, you know, since we're in a demo site, we can't really add that, but, but uh, you can get the idea. We can look at the shipping information, add some weight dimensions here, inventory. If you keep track of inventory, categories, select multiple categories for this particular item your meta metadata options like sizes and colors some uh, extra information you can add as long as uh, as well as attributes to that particular product related and uh, related items and visibility Okay, let's go back to the product page. I want to check out the import and export here. Let's export the product layout. I normally, if you have uh, more than a couple of dozen, I suggest you use the import and export function. I love managing my store through uh, through spreadsheets. Um, makes it easier for me to manipulate data and adjust the pricing and description. So it looks like they have um, for each item here, you can add uh, different pricing for different options. I normally like to keep my products and my product options separate. For example, the, the colors, the colors and the sizes is easier for me to manage outside uh, outside the same spreadsheet. Just because I like to. Uh, drag and drop everything and use uh, special formulas okay so when you do an import let's uh, take a look at this you can 
Yeah, what I like about this is that you can basically import any uh, spreadsheet you get from your from your vendor or from your dropshipper and kind of uh, map it to the lemon stand product columns here. And uh, section three here, you can you can create some rules for uh, importing the products. Okay, so here's your uh, your uh, your report after you uh, import your products. You can see what uh, what issues you have with your import. Let's take a look at uh, customers. You can look at the customer profile here. See what they ordered from you previously. So you can import or export them. Let's look at the tax classes. You can add that as well. Shipping options. Let's see what other options we have. You can uh, add FedEx, for example, and if you have an account with them, you can uh, probably uh, enter your credentials over here. Get an account number in your in your key. Here's your uh, payment methods that you can s s choose from. Here's your catalog uh, price rules and some uh, discounts you can add for uh, you can create some uh, discount rules as well. Let's take a look at this. You can set uh, different different conditions to when to apply certain discounts or buy one get one freeze. So you can select different type of rules here for, for your discount. So let's take a look at the CMS, your contact management system. So these are all the different pages uh, on your website you can create or edit. We're looking at, at our uh, about page now. And if you uh, like to edit the code and include other items here, you can do so here. So here's a layout, you can add uh, different themes to it. And you can uh, kind of update the logic here to how we can pull up different data and content here. Resources, your CSS file, your images, you can, uh, you can see what you have. And of course your theme, you can uh, choose different themes. Which you probably have to purchase. Doesn't look like that you can uh, select different options here. So let's take a look at the blogs. We have uh, two simple blogs here. Here's the post, your categories and uh, your 
content You have just different categories you can create for your blog, some settings, if you want people to comment on it or receive notifications. Let's take a look at look at the last tab, the system tab. Here's the email settings. Let's take a look at a few more. Here's your email templates. These are, uh, looks like these are kind of automated emails that can go out with different uh, options here. This are your thank you emails. That's email to the customer. Users, backup, restore. Let's take a look at modules and updates. See what else we can look at. Let's look at um, customize. You can add your logo here. Okay, you can pick different theme colors. And you can add the uh, additional footer information as well. Let's see what this is reviews. So this system allows you to review products and here are some uh, just configurations for it. Here's your uh, order statuses. You can decide to add new statuses as well. These are e-commerce settings, cart tax, product search, details in your category page. So there you have it. It's a preview of Lemon Stand e-commerce platform. For more information about this review and show notes on Lemon Stand or any other eStore reviews, please visit my site at eStoreCoaching.com uh, where I conduct a more detailed review of many other stores offline. So if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up and provide some uh, feedback to help me provide better content for you in the future. So if you're ready for your free 14-day trial, please click on uh, the link below and uh, get started. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.